Guyana is a beautiful, lush, green nation, attracted by many tourists from across the globe. Having ranked the number one ecotourism destination in the world in 2019, many more will flock to our shores. With the current development trajectory of Guyana, given the emergence of the oil and gas sector, Guyana is truly poised for greatness. However, like many other countries in the world, Guyana suffers from a serious plastic pollution problem, particularly single-use plastics. These are items made of plastics which are intended to be used once, petroleum-based, environmentally persistent, and have low recycling potential. According to the Georgetown Main City Council's data, single-use plastics constitutes 10% of our waste stream, and upwards of 7,000 tons of single-use plastics are taken to our landfill annually. During Guyana's international coastal cleanup activities in 2019, 73% of all trash collected was single-use plastics. But why are single-use plastics so problematic? First of all, single-use plastics are made of, well, plastics. Plastics are petroleum-based, meaning they are products of petroleum and contributes to carbon emissions. They are also non-biodegradable. This simply means they cannot be broken down or degraded by natural elements. They remain in our environment for hundreds of years. Plastic is also harmful to human health, since it contains toxic chemicals, which can even enter into our food chain. We haven't even begun talking about the marine environment. Every day, around 8 million pieces of plastics enter into our oceans. At the current rate of plastic pollution, it is estimated by the year 2050, there will be more plastics than fishes in the sea. Do you know that for every three fishes caught, one fish contains microplastics? These are small, sometimes microscopic sized plastics which we consume. But what can we do about it? Guyana, like many other countries, is joining in the fight against plastics by proposing a single-use plastic ban to take effect in the year 2021. The proposed ban is intended to ban the importation, manufacture, distribution, and use of certain single-use plastics. These include plastic straws, plastic utensils, plastic food containers, plastic cups and plates, and plastic bags. While plastic bottles, commonly known as the PET bottles, are not targeted by the ban, the EPA's stakeholder consultation process is intended to devise a long-term waste management plan to better manage or recycle plastic bottle waste. Exemptions include single-use plastic products intended for the storage of garbage, packaging of pharmaceuticals, packaging of hygiene products, storage and preservation of food, packaging for industrial chemicals, and use in scientific research, biomedical science, and chemical analysis. The EPA is not alone in this fight. There is a task force committee comprising over a dozen public and private entities, such as the Private Sector Commission, the Guyana Revenue Authority, the Ministry of Communities and the Guyana National Bureau of Standards to provide advice and make recommendations on the implementation of the ban. Aside from our rigorous communications and awareness strategy involving radio, television and social media, we have also been conducting regional consultations. Some general concerns coming out of these consultations are the availability of alternatives, and whether they are fit for purpose, economic and financial considerations, and the impact on consumers. The Environmental Protection Agency, with support from the Department of Environment, is the implementing agency. 
trying to gather as much information and data from stakeholders just like you to inform the design of this ban. But we need to hear from you, manufacturers and importers, tourism sectors, supermarkets and shops, non-governmental organizations, financial institutions, public bodies and schools, international and local organizations, and the general public. What are your thoughts on the ban? Single-use plastics are harmful to human health and the environment. Like the styrofoam ban in 2015, the Environmental Protection Agency is looking forward to your feedback and support. Many countries around the world have successfully implemented similar bans, and Guyana hopes to join the effort to eliminate plastic waste. So, will you join us? Send us a message on social media or contact the Environmental Protection Agency today to find out more about the impending ban on single-use plastics.